Hello. <coughs> Welcome back to my <coughs> nuclear campaign. <laughs> okay, first off, I'll clean up the map a bit. Uh, we have destroyed these aircraft carriers. There's no use for these markings anymore. Finally, we can get rid of these. And yes, even this one, wow. So nice and clean the map. Guess it's this marking I'll keep because it's oh wait a second. Oh you can you can with the eraser you can uh, change the uh, previous markings. How do I do it? I have to, oh you have to right click and then you can change them. Oh well cool, nice to know. Um, Intel, I will just wait. I will just not get Intel. I mean, there's lots of traders around, but traders are really not my priority right now. What is my priority though is checking out of the FK 15 piece here. And you land. But I have to leave here soon. Man, some, some flares on this guy would be, would be great. I mean, even though the lightning is definitely not as fast and crazy as before, it's in the previous patch, it's still, it's still the perfect chip. So the nearly the perfect interceptor. I mean, it's cruise speed and it's fuel. Uh, it's very nerve-wracking to fly it still, but um, oh, two thousand, damn. Well, um, I guess I put some zenits on this guy, and we cannot get a gate shift in peace here, which means, um, which means we will have to get it in this town below, uh, laser guided. Hmm. Big aircraft bombs also wouldn't be so bad, honestly. Um, I still have some. I mean, I still have some. Let's get to until uh, until I'm 20, and then I will have to leave Jaffa. And this guy will get more cage 15 piece. Actually, I think I bought like three cage 15 piece, but I think for these two strike groups, I will have to. It's better if I have a lot. And here, I wanted to actually. Um. I wanted to. Stop the repairing process in order to wait and how do I do this in the best way? Understood. I will have just uh, will have to take off. Then I will have to land again, and I want to repair the engines and the uh, piece of uh, fuel tanks so that it will actually not drain fuel uh, instantly. I mean, we can try out if it will so it drain fuel instantly, so that it cannot fly anywhere. Basically. It seems, seems better than before. Maybe I could actually go to Moab, and I mean, even though it's fairly far away, but who cares? Would, would, it, would it be possible to make it to there? I think it, if it wasn't possible, it would already tell me. Um, no risky order. It would already tell me there's no fuel for it. But if it get got stranded here right now, it would be so bad because then I would have to get get it somehow. Oh man. I'll just make my way up here. You'll get if I there. I think you can make it to there, right? Okay, um with taking these town towns, I thought it would be best to like um wait a bit. Once I raise the alarm again and then take these towns in order to make the strike groups go over here um, because I really want them not to come all at once um, over here. I kind of would be the greatest thing would be to take um, take this fleet HQ to get some more nukes, maybe preferably KH-15 piece uh, ones in order to nuke them um, beforehand so I don't have to use regular KH-15 piece. Even if I use lots of cage 15 piece, I will still have to fly up close and use um, A100Ns. It's 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 a mess. I don't know how to do this. I will probably have to sacrifice my Gephardt or anything. Try to really drain them of their nukes. Um, then it's not a big problem anymore, but yeah. 
first I will have to do this and yeah what was happening here you are already fully fueled but your range is so pathetic um, but no use in staying here this way over there I guess I guess right now the alarm is raised it is coming here it's actually flying over here the strike group so I guess I already can try to take the next town over here in order to confuse them and usually the garrisons for fuel are really easy okay Oof. I'm still extremely scared, you know, why did I even start a nuclear campaign if, I, if the main thing I like about this game is the arcade combat? Why did I do something that requires the most uh, tactical approach? Well, I did it because I thought it would be as easy as the last time I did it. Oh, no fuel? You have no fuel for this. It's actually draining fuel too fast. Well, okay, then I guess you have to do the slow approach town to town. You will have enough fuel, you, you do have enough fuel, but... Um, uh, I guess he didn't get damaged too badly. Yeah, I cannot even... Repair him. And you have little, literally only one spot for a cage with MP. I mean, I have to... Put the cage with MPs in... Soon anyway, maybe I can already remove the A100Ns. Uh, uh, I mean, it doesn't cost money to remove it at least. Okay, for, for now, I mean, can um, remove a more later. Heal up. Um, Zeus, I mean, I got some still. I still have to try to shoot down nukes with um, AAMs. My missile carrier is over here, my, uh, my echo carrier is over here, my Gephardt is also over here, my Gephardt has to go over here. It has to go to the front lines. And yeah. And you, until when you have fueled, you have to also definitely leave. And I should. With what ship could I actually such for a hidden town, all of these are extremely extremely bad range and stuff, maybe with my flagship. Maybe with my flagship, but it has this huge radar, I'm afraid they will see me on the island. Mm -hmm. Where's my other, uh, my other, only other ship, only other shift shafts here. So it's not so nice, okay, yeah, well, um, more cage okay, 15 piece. They have a lot, so. You know what, I'm a, I'm a buy all of these. Let's be real, there's two strike groups really close. And this is my only way of, my best bet, um, to destroy the jammers and to be able to get up close. And if I've destroyed the jammers, I can actually shoot at them with my A100Ns and I can actually shoot down their nukes. I mean, even though I should still think of something to make them shoot their nukes at shoot the nukes at something that is expendable and that I don't need. Okay, Akkad, maybe I fly to Akkad actually. I mean, you guys are feeling a lot, you, you have to repair sadly. And yeah, there's really nothing I can go to Akkad right now, but I think these guys really have to, really have to leave soon. Um, um, I wonder, I wonder, I should let actually let's read it, uh, read it. Repair fully. I guess I will take a cut with these guys once I have um, gone there. And I guess you will. I mean, I can take a cut uh, soon if I have fully fueled up with these guys. I could even just go with my Cliver um, with him alone 
my interceptor and try it by itself. Should be possible. Yeah, I got laser, still got laser guided. But sadly, I have cold fingers. Um, this doesn't make it easier. So let's see the reverse alarm here. Hello! I should remember that at night they. It's easier to do a silent strike, but I always forget. Oh, there's still a missile carrier group ship here. Okay, quite a brutal garrison. Fucking gladiator. I'm going to go with Proxius right now. Already. So loud, you fucking gladiator. Mm, these missiles, damn. Gotta watch my fuel. Much appreciated. Oh, my Proxius is going into this fight. I think this would be pretty brutal without... Maybe I can, maybe I can reload now. Yeah, I think I'll reload into... High Explosive to do the trick. Beautiful friendly fire. Maneuverable. My lightning. That was my lightning. <laughs> oh, okay. Um. Mm. Yes, the ammunition. No race alarm. So far, so good. Oh no. Oh no, your range is still pathetic. Hmm. I guess this uh, trash fennec cannot really affect us then. Can't really function as um as a tanker. Oh. Guess I should use them together with my flagship. Guess I should. Okay. You got four intel here, um, and. Uh, you have to land anyway. Oh wait, 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 wait. It's the landing. Oh god damn it, the landing gear is broken again. Mm. Okay, I guess in one hour I have to check again. So you're still fueling. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with my interceptor to a cut since it's not covered by anything. I can do it by by it can do it by itself. Uh, 
two hours have passed. Strike shouldn't be too close. Um, yeah. Guess you guys just stay there. And I guess my flagship will just come over to Isar and take the other swift of it. I mean, I want the Gephardt, the, the Gephardt and the Longbow that they are flying with my flagship is actually good. Uh, it should, they should uh, be together, honestly. Okay. Oh, hope I hope I don't um, fly right into like huge trader group or something. Uh, I would be so good. I would be very afraid that this. Yeah, well, I uh, can still retreat. I think. Uh, yes, lots of fuel. No. Uh, yes, some fuel. Hmm. I uh, would still be good to get back up. Oof. Oh well. Risky, risky. So, yeah, okay, my flagship is fully loaded, fully fueled, because it's down here. Attention. Visual contact. Oh, hmm. Okay, I think it is actually the trade of the with the Nigap. Because of its speed. Ah, let's let's try it. Look, it says it's it's only one ship. Because of the smoke trail it has. Hmm. So it should not be too hard. Maybe it's just a trader, maybe it's a single trader would be not really good. Oh hi. <laughs> it's a single trader. Hello. You come with me, please. Victory, well done. <laughs> Great victory, okay, but that also means I think I have to go back now uh, to sell it or else um, uh, speed 90 Maybe I can just still attack. I mean I didn't ever take any damage. I mean obviously it won't be a silent strike, but it wasn't It's not gonna uh, Wouldn't have been a silent strike anyway But the question is just like captured so does it mean if I like have to retry with the customer? I mean, I cannot detach from it. It would really be preferable to sell this first. Hmm. Okay, better safe than sorry. Let's sell this first and then I'll go back. Seems like a tight fit. Can we even? Can we actually even? Note to myself. Somehow make my uh, some of the uh, maybe I wear gloves or something. Oh my god, this is such a tight fit. I don't wanna. We can do it. We can do it. Even though we didn't don't even necessarily need the. Oh. 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 Don't necessarily need the fastest repairs. Not well. Okay. Too well dressed man. You ask you see you, uh, Boeing dealer. Uh, cordially invite you to uh, dine at the house of the local Muadi. Mentor is an honorific uh, reserved for sage and legal scholars. Yes, free morale. For whatever. Wait, is this? Did I ever have this event before? Your excel, uh, excellent meal is followed by a slow, leisurely uh, conversation. The master of the house addresses you. I have heard many stories of Zayali wisdom. Would you be so kind as to answer a question from me, Grand Duke? Two men are stranded in. Ah, this one. No, I, I don't, I don't uh, know this one. Two men are stranded in the desert. One carries a jug full of water. If both drink from it, both will die. But if only one drinks, he will have uh, the strength uh, to reach the village and survive. What would be the right thing uh, to do? Mm. 
The man with the water should give it all to his friend. There is no greater love than sacrifice one's life for a friend. So saith Ishu. But if your fellow traveler accept your water, would not uh, that make him a murderer? I think it would be the right thing to do. Oh. Okay. Long repass. Um, let's see. Mm. I don't need laser guided. I definitely need Proxius. <laughs> Maybe after I've fueled, I can just go to Woods and prepare me. Oh, uh, I don't know. Eight hours is not that much, actually. Uh, I mean, I, at one point I have to put put the cage fifteen piece into the into my flagship. I should maybe uh, before I actually save those few uh, fools. I should maybe just um, search for a hidden city already with my flagship. And you, I'm still scared. I mean, it's it's incredibly slow. Um, four hours have passed, that would make them be this, have gone this far, which is not far at all. Okay, well I guess I don't have to be scared so much. Huh? I, I, but then I'll have to leave sooner or later. Okay, this one has fully repaired its uh, shitty landing gear. Never again. I will never build landing gear like this again. I, I mean, maybe if I was a better pilot, I wouldn't uh, break it every time I fucking um, land, but... Approaching final begin. Landing gear always gets a bit damaged. I guess my ship is just not light enough or something. Uh, yeah, just. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We will do it more smart. We will repair the things to, that are more important, things that make it able to fly further. I select the ship. I mean, I select this design, I think. Well, I'm, I'm already thinking about what to change on my ships for the next campaign, which I want to go more smoothly than this one. But maybe how smooth a campaign, a campaign goes has more to do with your decision making, and not even your ships. I think with stock ships you can still pull off everything. They're not this bad. Um, okay, I can do the... Gladiator and the Trash Fennec, they have enough fuel for going into Woods? No, they don't. Yeah, well, maybe I just repair the Gladiator and the Hidden Town once I find it. Um, yeah. God damn it, 90. Speed 90 is so slow, it's so painful. I once got bombed and attacked at a hidden city, so I don't really know how they found out about it, but um, yeah, probably I will not get seen when I'm going to a hidden city. Yeah, yeah, I've landed, fuel up, anything, anything good here? Ah, the big rockets, uh, they're so expensive also, I cannot get them right now. Sooner or later I'll have to ask Fazio, I hope this... Custard that I captured will give me some money at least. I 
thinking thinking where to fly with these. Uh, I mean, repairing in the hidden city would also be good. If I'm able to find it, need is the hidden city here. Would that make sense? Oh, I mean, could be. I don't know. You know the reason why I don't skip time so much, even though right now would be a good moment, is actually because it's overwhelming. I'm just not so smart. Suddenly, shit just goes um, too fast for me. I cannot speed up time. Then, ooh, new target on the radar or visual contact. Uh, man, I want to. Oh, the hidden city must be close. Ooh, great, great, great. I'm not up for that. I think people who do this are really good, they're really fast, fast brain people. Especially if you have so many little um, strike groups everywhere, I think it's um, quite hard. Let's get some strike group enter, huh? Okay, they're quite close to here, but soon I will have found the hidden city. I just hope they don't, um, you know, sit on Eland and fuck me fucking up. Yes, you can already start your engines and go there. Hidden people, where is your actual fucking town? It's so weird. Oh, uh, they have landed here, this is nice. Didn't I fuel up here before? Damn. Um, um, you fly up here. And you... Well, it still needs two hours, maybe. Oh, yeah, I landed it right here. Yeah. Um, maybe after that's uh, I fully repaired it, I will go up. Get it, shouldn't it be here somewhere? Shouldn't I be able to already see it? Hmm. Is it this big thing on the radar there? Do I have to fly really close for um, uh, for it to show up, show up actually? Because my radar is also bigger, so it seems uh, smaller on it. Oh yes, okay. Turn off the radar. Oh, we have barely enough fuel. Let's try it still. And you have, do you guys have enough fuel to go there? Let's go there. Let's hope they don't nuke us. Uh, actually, I didn't see their, their course. Where was their course? Where were they going? Wait, where did I get the intel? I got the intel here? Yeah, I got the intel here. But it doesn't tell me. Hmm. Maybe they changed. Maybe they changed the course because of that. Hmm. You changed the course because uh, I turned on the radar. Hmm. I hope not. Then I'm dead pretty much. But all of you have enough fuel to go here, so we will... Oh, do you? Oh no, it says no fuel. You won't make it. Oh, you will make it. It's just uh, the usual... The usual taking off no fuel thing. Um... I just want to know it's... it's um, it's path. Okay, so it's still going over there. Ah, uh, it's still scary to be in the hidden town when they're f flying by so close. Okay, but yeah. 
I need to deliver these nukes to my flagship that is stationed, uh, not those nukes, those cage 15 piece to my flagship that is stationed there. Uh, it would be actually nice if it was coming over here somewhere. I think I will have to, after this is repaired, I will take it down here and hope the alarm is being raised. Uh, to make it actually go, yeah, go over here, kinda. Well, how's our morale looking? Should we actually uh, land at the hidden people? That'd be not so bad, I think. Eight, and we will get two morale. I mean, now the morale is good because we camped so much, but... Hmm. My god, it would be so terrifying if they just had me on Eland and would shoot uh, nukes at, at the hidden people now. I would be so... I would be dead. It would be the end of the campaign. So the Gephardt really has to be there fast and also the longbow. Good. Cage 15 is fucking awesome. Um, yeah, it's really awesome. Then it's have some sentence, buddy. And uh, also, I mean, let's think. Ah, well, it's still coming this way. This is what uh, annoys me. We would go to Jaffa, it would be better. But I can fire KH 15 piece at it, even though it will probably jam. But I didn't see... I think... I don't know if they're only jamming when they... I don't know if they're only jamming... Uh, once they see you on radar. But they already do it before. Because it didn't, I, I was turning on the radar, right? I didn't see the jam, I think. So it was a big mistake to make my a huge terrible mistake to make my black shriver missile carrier. <laughs> it worked out in the last campaign I did, but this time no, no. Also, um, this is pretty dumb now. If, I mean, wait. My. Now oh, it says a uh, 28 hours for both of these. I think I should take off with the lightning actually and uh, break up its repairs again. It's just so this goes faster now. Yeah. So now you can land again. So now it's only seven hours of repairs, or else these are some adds to the other repair time. Okay. Um. Flagship cell sold. Cool. Um. So if I attack Akkad now though, they will obviously come over there again. This is one more hour of repairs. Hmm. Not so sure what to do. Not so sure. Don't want them to come here. Be great to. I mean, I already want to want these um, KH-15s to be loaded. 
And then I can just shoot them at, at Tapet right now. This would be great, actually. But yeah. And what I should also do is truly. Um, it's really deliver these KH-15Ps to the flagship as soon as possible. That I can only do by detaching the other ships. I mean, I would do it with the Mockingbird, even though then the ship would be stranded a bit. But I mean, he's getting the tankers from behind here. Um. Oh man, I don't really know what to do. Mm -hmm. How do I do this? How do I approach this? Okay, um, so also, I mean, I guess I let it repair for one hour and then I'll detach it and just use my Mockingbird to fly over to here um, and bring the cage 15 piece to my, I mean, I have eight now, to my uh, flagship. And yeah. What I also want to do is, I mean, there's no way I can raise the alarm here again that they will come uh, this way. Sucks a bit. I can just intercept them over here, I mean, a bit. Mm. Still wanted to do the thing where I um, sacrificed the Fennec and with um, escort of T7s and AAMs. Ha, hmm, Why is this game so hard? <laughs> I don't know, maybe since the alarm is raised there anyway. Hmm. I should go there. It would be great to get to the next fleet HQ actually. I was so afraid of the route of the uh, other strike group. 20, let's see, um, 85 times 20, how fast how far it could be. I think, I guess it's going to the same direction. Uh, it could also be really close. I mean, it could be the same spot right now. Which is, uh, oy, oy, oy. But I can do plane recons, uh, recon soon. Um, I guess I'll just say here, yeah, because there's intel here, and... It's actually um, good that they this intel here, it's actually good that it's in a dangerous town, maybe they raise the alarm here, make the strike group go this way, and then I can bomb them here, nuke them easier, more easily. Yeah, pretty boring episode, but that's it for today. Thanks for watching.